The best army fails in funniest moments. Let us be the judge of it. Let's go. Three, two, one. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> that wouldn't give you much confidence if you're on board a ship, would it? Now, why is that funny? Because we're all juvenile and we like this kind of symbolic phallic behavior, right? What do you guys think about this one? I can't tell you a donkey or horse can't kick like that, like pinpoint accuracy. If you guys ever seen that, you get a donkey or a horse tooling around, they see a dog, they can just peer back and whack that dog like this soldier with accuracy that's like a sniper. Join the community on Discord. <laughs> Try to tell people what's done on deployments, right? A lot of hurry up and wait. And people go, what do you mean? That's what I mean. Hurry up and wait. You get a bunch of young guys that are bored, and they come up with all sorts of things to do. What have you guys done on deployment or exercises that's funny like this or funnier, I suspect? Keep it clean, but put it in the comments. That's had to have been a joke or something. It was like a balloon running out of air flying around. He must have done that because that was not a projectile. Oh, God, these grenade ones are always good. Let's see this one. <laughs> you know, I remember throwing a grenade. They practice a little bit, and you do it. And you're thinking to myself, I'm making sure I throw this. Like, you can make mistakes in life, of course. That's one, I don't know anybody that's ever made, but they seem to capture a lot of these on video. And it's funny because it's so dumb, and you hope it's like a practice grenade, but that throwing frags, and that's why they have this hole so they can jump in. But as an instructor, can you imagine dealing with these idiots? <laughs> <laughs> now why is it we all laugh when somebody trips and falls? You know, we don't laugh they break the leg, but you laugh they just trip and fall and hurt themselves. I don't know what it is. I used to have a bird in my call that if the kids fell, it would start cracking up at them. I don't know where it got it from, but it did. Uh, oh, fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've seen that one before, but I don't know what he was thinking. You know, common sense dictates like a puddle. Is it too deep? Even a horse or a dog will paw the puddle to see how deep it was he's all kitted out and he decides let's just run through it i guess that was a run or a jump but being in wet boots all day sucks even in the desert oh god i've seen these idiots i think that was the chinese i think i've seen that before there's some name for the drill i guess chinese fire drill right i don't see any utility in that you know hopefully the fuse is right, so they've got X amount of seconds, 15 seconds, whatever they're fusing those Chinese grenades. And you hope the quality control is even better at the factory. Because that is the craziest, stupidest drill I've ever seen. Where you're handing it off hot potato, effectively. And the last person who's got it, I mean, who we going to wait? If it says 15 seconds, you're going to wait till 12 to hand it off? I mean, you'd almost screw your buddy up and you. Holy shit. <laughs> I'm not sure that's necessarily funny, but, you know, the crazy part when you think about it is somebody's sitting there videotaping the thing, and a tree falls down, you know. The old story, if a tree falls in the woods do, you, woods, do you hear it? I guess so. My lord. That looks like no fun. It reminds me of Arnold Schwarzenegger in the movie Conan the Barbarian. If you guys haven't seen that, it's an old one where Arnold was still all juiced out. Take a look. <laughs> this one always gets me. You know, guys are going to make mistakes with the flashbang. But it seems like that's a hard one to make. You know, certain things, it's like 
you trip and fall. You don't lift your leg up high enough. But you got the door. You're right there. It's not a long throw. You just wonder how that happens. And thank God it wasn't a frag he's tossing in or it wasn't a real loud flash bang. You know, some of those things are pretty substantial flash and a bang. That even with your pro on, your eyesight's going to get jacked up if it was at night and your hearing is going to be ringing. That wasn't too bad. You know, look at this guy. <laughs> <laughs> I think if you were kind of chill and you're playing whatever he's playing, Dig Dug or whatever game that was, and all of a sudden something came on your screen that was like, you didn't expect, it would set you back. I'm not trying to jump like that, but I've seen people do it over spiders. What do you guys have that makes you jump like you're about to get out of your skin, like a cat hitting the water? Somehow they bounce and walk on water and are out of the water. Put that in the comment. <laughs> you know, whatever country's finest, right? Random SF. <laughs> oh, now, why would you ever do that? You know, kick a door and yes, but Bruce Lee f flying kick. It just seems like even if you get the door open and you're good, you're going to end up on your ass. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Another one. Holy shit. Okay, I've done this before at a grocery store. <laughs> I worked in a grocery store. We had to do the floors, you know, mop them and do the waxing. And there was a guy who did it. Now, he didn't wipe out. He was good at it. And we'd jerk around because it was late at night, you know. But this guy, his buddy's filming him. He's going to be, you know, jerking around. This is the hurry up and wait stuff. People talk about the military. What does that mean? This kind of stuff. You have to wax the floors. You got to... You're just waiting around bored, right? You know, I've seen this one, but I'll laugh again. <laughs> These Bruce Lee, you know, martial arts skits. I don't know if they're just bored of this, some kind of training, what this is ever going to do, you know, real life. You got helmet on, body armor. You got to hit the guy just right. I've never seen this work. No one's going to do this in real life in the military. I guess if you're just practicing because you're bored. I'll tell you what, <laughs> what do you say to that one? Like dead nation there. Oh, shit. <laughs> I don't know what just happened there. It like it was blocked in the front or something and blew back so hard. That would scare the shit out of you. <laughs> the amount of things you do to guys in the military that are asleep are pretty good shave an eyebrow, dump water on their crotch, like warm beer on that, and they think they piss themselves. You know, you can keep going on and on, right? Try to get something down their pants. Looks like they crap their pants. And you come up with this stuff, and it seems like a good idea at the time. When you're drunk and your buddy's passed out, but it never ends up well, because you get it on the flip side when you pass out. <laughs> Not again. Come on. Holy shit. Come on, man. I guess they leave out the videos where somebody dies doing that dumb shit because the instructor's got to grab the guy, you know, within whatever, six, eight seconds, get him in the hole. You know, you got to build a hole like this, there's a problem. <laughs> oh, this is going to be good. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Hope that didn't go off. Uh, if it went off, maybe they recovered the cell phone, right? That guy who was the instructor wasn't thinking it was an inert round. I mean, he was flying. When's he going to drink and crack his nuts, huh? You know, so doing that kind of thing, word to the wise, it's best to go fast. If you're going to fall, you're going to fall because you can't maintain your bowels. So if you just kind of run over it, you'll be better off. Because this guy's probably going to land right on his nuts. And he'll be like, in the water and sore nuts. Hit that water right there. Whoa. Slip, slip. No, huh? Oh, yeah, oh, he's done. oh, oh, <laughs> shit. Now, the thing about it is, too, he's going to be wet all day. That's what sucks. Not as arid and hot where they're at in the desert. Still having wet boots and wet socks. There's no fixing it. Oh, shit. Figured those guys can be strapped in there, but now the tank, the hatch is underneath. So I gotta wait for another tank probably to pull you over. You can't get out from the looks of it. 
man, unbelievable. People, you know, that could be a whole video series, people screwing up stuff with trailers. Made it this far. Thanks for watching. Consider joining me on Patreon. If you need to reach me, get me on Twitter for video ideas and comments.